coach uh, win after a year and a fantastic goal to get the three points how's the feeling right now how do you express your feelings oh well obviously we are happy you know we come here in high altitude and the, the second game in four days um, we didn't have much preparation but <coughs> the players have already internalized uh, the way how we want to play so we come more from ball possession also we don't have many high players cannot work with crosses so I think that worked very well um, also for the headings and the, the, the long balls from Bhutan in the first half we struggled but then in the second half you could see Bhutan dropped you could see that the match competition is missing a little bit and uh, that was going into our advantage so we are very happy big respect to the team it's a very very young team with two three exceptions so I'm, I'm obviously very happy after the second goal, you were quite emotional with the captain. Every team was celebrating outside, and you and captain having a moment there. Uh, you yeah, uh, uh, because he 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 was the assist, the assist. and 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 the guy is uh, uh, the guy had some problems uh, in last year with in in, in Laos. I, I took him back and I, I see I deem him very very precious for the team you know it's because he's fighting his heart out and playing Thailand in the second league probably going to Thailand in the first league so he's still very much needed in our team he's a leader he's a role model he's a funny guy you know he keep the ambience high so this boy is needed so I was very very happy for him to have this assist and to have this kind of game. You played against both the teams in this tournament uh, so who, who do you rate better who was the better opponent playing against Nepal or Laos? Who's better? Yeah. No, I cannot say that. That, that. that would be. I cannot say we are stronger than Nepal. <laughs> they beat us to zero. But hopefully we can. Nothing strange happens in the next game. Nepal push through and we go in the final. Then we'll see who's better. I think this is more realistic than in the second game to see whether we can really <coughs> win here on home soil, full house. That will be very interesting game for us. But if you see the broader picture, it's like uh, for us, this young team must grow and become into man. You know, they are not man yet, and they are a little bit naive in some situations. Uh, uh, we saw this in the goal, and uh, Chirp, what's the name of the, of the player from uh, Bhutan? Chirp, 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 Chirp. Yeah, Chirp, Chirp. he's clever, you know, he's, you can see he's experienced, he plays overseas, you know, put the body smartly inside and use these chances. As long as they had power, it was very dangerous, you know, we were lucky here and there. Mostly important is to grow, to become man, get this experience, and uh, yeah, uh, eight, nine players is, is, is uh, below 20, 21, 22. So this is cool for us now, because this gives us hope for the future. Coach, uh, your team focuses more on playing short passes. So has the pitch con condition been a challenge for you? Yeah, the, the pitch is not in perfect condition. The pitch is also not a disaster. It's okay. Uh, given, given the dry conditions here, uh, it is what it is, you know. And, uh, and uh, I still, you can, you can see there's quality. And we worked very hard for that more than one year now. And of, obviously, I'm very happy you know, that they find the gaps in between. You know, also when the pressing come in the last game, we played too many long balls, and uh, we trained yesterday uh, that we want to play really faster from behind. And then when the gap is there, play through. This is uh, what I want to implement more and more and more. Because we are small, we have to play like this. We cannot go with high balls. You know.